Hello design champions, let's get started. If you want to animate a GIF in Photoshop, you gotta first make sure that the stuff you want to move is on different layers. All you have to do to start your animation is go window, timeline. Where are you? Here. You gotta make sure you're seeing the timeline and I actually prefer to put the timeline on the left here and then shrink it down some, maybe about like Mm, yeah, probably like that. Now, when you ha see your timeline, you're gonna have two options. You can create a video timeline or you can create a frame animation. And I don't wanna draw stuff frame by frame. I'm gonna take the lazy way out. So I'm going to create video timeline and then press create video timeline. Now what you'll see here, don't, don't be freaked out by any of this stuff. It's super easy. All the, these three folders are just these three folders. If I select one on the right, I select it on the left. So if you are, are comfortable with a layer panel already, then be comfortable with this. It's no problem. So then you can open these up and you can see each one. So there's a jacket, there's the legs, there's the face, and it correlates to those. Okay, let's start animating uh, the guy. So he's going to look down and to the right. So what we want to do is select our jacket, we'll move the jacket first. And we'll toggle this down. And uh, you won't see one that's called transform. And that's because it's not a smart object. So right click on it and go convert to smart object. It's important that you convert your stuff to smart objects because now we get a little transform keyframe maker, which is all the rage. It's so nice. So what you can do is Let's say I want the guy to look straight for a little while. He could blank, you know, who knows why he's there. And then all of a sudden, he, about here, he can start to look down. So I, if I want him all to be the same, everything to the left of this, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna press the little stopwatch. So anywhere before here, he's gonna look like this. And then let's say at the end of his whole movement, I can go Control T, and now. I can move his body, his not a little body, now it's body, where I want it. So that looks pretty good. He'll be looking down, right? So if you go here, so he's static for a little while, and then he looks down pretty slow, pretty slow, 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 slow. All right, he looks down a little bit. I want let's see if we can add one in the middle. Let's press Control T, and we'll just like, we'll just kind of, I want to move it back a little bit, just so that it's not as, and then hit Enter. So now we have another keyframe. So it's it's a little bit more. You see how there's a third thing going on there? It hits and then it drops over. I'm gonna make it all go a little bit faster. There you go. Okay, now what we need is. We need to make the head go with it. So we're going to open up face, and it's already a smart object, so we can see transform. So uh, we want the face to be there, so we'll hit one keyframe there. And then we're going to go to the middle of keyframe for where the, where the jacket is here, and we're going to press Control T. And now we're just going to, we're going to kind of guess where the head would be there with the body, right? Maybe something like that would be good. Now we'll go to the third position and we'll press control T and we'll go like this. And now he's like, wow, that's amazing. What is that? Oh, it's a box. Press enter. Okay. Now we can go back and see how, how aligned they are. Just hit space to play. Yeah, it's not the best because here he's, his head's too low. So I'm going to delete that and now I'm just going to move it over we're gonna really kind of curve him over here maybe something like that let's see how that looks yeah that's okay uh, it's all a little bit slow so I'm just gonna select these guys move them over move that guy over and then I'm gonna match the head movements here Okay, so he sees the box. Cool, cool, cool. Now we got that guy going down. Easy peasy now. Let's open the, uh, let's get the box here. Now we're going to take the lid. So what's going to happen to the lid is the lid's going to open up out of the box. But actually, he's going to look at it for a little while, maybe like there. And then the lid will 
So we want it to be all ever the same. All the all everything to the left of here will all be the same. That doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is where we want to start the animation for the lid. So we'll hit the stopwatch there. And then we want the animation to end probably like here. So I'm gonna press control T. And I'm gonna move the lid to where I want it to be like at the end. So probably there. But you gotta be careful with this kind of animation because you can see he's gonna like, it's gonna do some weird thing here. So I'm gonna go to the middle about, and then I'm gonna put it where I think would be like the middle of the actual thing and press enter. So now you can see it's getting it's getting closer, but I'm just gonna add another keyframe here, right? That moves it a little bit how it should like that. And then we'll do one after here and we'll press control T and we'll just move it up so that the hinge part always stays where the hinge should, right? So now it looks much better. I kind of like I kind of like this like wobbly animation style. So, okay, now we just want to speed everything up. So we just move our keyframes a lot closer to each other. Boom, boom, boom. Well, maybe you know what? We just need to like we need to blow the lid off this place. So we're just gonna make it all go really fast. Not even fast enough. We gotta zoom in, zoom in here. Oh, where are you? Here, okay, uh, I'm gonna go so fast. This lid's gonna explode off. All right, let's see how that is. Boom, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, and then the donuts come flying out. So it's gonna be like kind of a slow build up for the guy. So he'll be standing around, then he looks down a little bit, and then boom, and then, okay. So now what happens next is the donuts need to come flying out. So, maybe they'll start flying out at about here. So we're going to, we're gonna just move all the donuts to the right so they won't even show up at all until here, right? But first we need to move the donuts like down here. I guess they should show up like here, right? As soon as you can see inside, Inside the box, you should be able to see the donuts. So we're just gonna move them a little bit to the right. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're just going to um, gonna have sprinkles come out first. So we're just gonna, I don't think we need transform necessarily because we can just do a position. And then uh, here we can have like the position will be there. So that one will go Boom, and that donut goes flying out, right? But I, th I actually think maybe we want them, maybe we want them to just like fly off screen. So I'm gonna actually delete that. I'm gonna have the donut actually go all the way off the screen because these donuts will like just fly out. Boom. It'll be hard to tell that they're donuts though. That's an issue. Hmm. Wonder. Let me just slow it down so you can see that they're donuts, but they're just flying out. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. You know what? Actually, I am going to make all of these guys. Um, oh gosh. Okay, I gotta do it individually. I'm going to make all of them smart objects so that I can make them spin as they go. Uh, where are we? Yeah. Because it's kind of cool, but it would be much cooler if we made them spin. All right, so now we can take the sprinkles guy, and I think we can go, um, see, but now we don't see transform anymore. So I guess what we can do here is just go there, and then here we can go like control T. This is interesting. Oh, that's not what we want. That's not what we want at all. So I'm gonna go, I'm actually going to convert it. I'm going to rasterize sprinkles again and then see if that comes back. Yeah, it came back, but we can't see any. We can't see the elements. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Okay, good. So now we can... Uh, let's make it a, a smart object again. All right. Now sprinkles doesn't have anything. 
So we're just gonna have, when the box opens, sprinkles is here. All right. So we're gonna hit one transform. That's where we want our animation to start. Now over here, uh, we're gonna have sprinkles be over here, right? Well, actually, I think what we wanna do is like spin it halfway and then here, we're gonna have it go like off screen, but all the way. So hopefully, let me pull these back some, we can go, you can see it's spinning, right? And then it actually gets faster. It's like, whoosh, cause it's not right in the middle. I kind of like that, but the donuts need to, they need to go a little bit faster out the gate. So something like that. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Okay, let's do the uh, stripey boy. So we're gonna hit uh, transform here, and then uh, maybe he'll go at kind of a different angle-ish, so he can fly out like here, and uh, we're gonna rotate him like about that much, and then at the end he's gonna be off stage right. Well, probably, yeah. And then we're gonna rotate him more. But we actually need this donut to start a little bit later than the last one, right? So it'll go first sprinkles, and then that guy. Wow, that guy really speeds up. <laughs> I wonder why it does that. It's crazy. I guess because it's not in a good position. So let's see if we can just like spin it there. Now let's see what happens. Yeah, it's spinning slowly. All right. So, but really we just needed to go like a little bit after the other guy. Okay. Now I wonder if we can well, no. All right, we're gonna do the orange donut now. Hmm. <laughs> and uh, he's gonna be here, and then the end of his cycle will probably be like, I'm gonna have him go over there, but he's gonna do like a, a spin too. Maybe we don't need a middle guy. Yeah, like that, that's good, right? That's quite nice. <laughs> okay. Um, and you can see that it's going over the guy. So what's gonna happen? What I'm gonna have actually is when the thing opens up, the guy's gonna the guy's gonna stand back again, and then all the donuts will come flying out. Uh, okay, one more donut, and then I I want to cheat and just copy and paste all the donuts, so we can have another one. So we're gonna go here on the cream donut, and then here he's gonna be probably. Where do you want him to be? Wait, what? This is gonna be there, and then here he's going to be. Wow. Let me try my trick that I learned. <laughs> Rasterize layer, and then let me go back to convert to smart object, get rid of stuff that I had on it before. So we're going to press transform here, and then over here. This is insane. What is this? Maybe it's not even... Let me see something. If I go, um... Where are you? Which one are you? I feel like you're nothing. But that begs the question, which one is... Oh, okay, Blue Donut. Yeah. Okay. I skipped Blue Donut. Figured it out. It's okay. <laughs> no one worry. <laughs> okay, transform here. And then, uh... Here, we need to have him kind of go uh, like maybe over through the middle ish, and then we'll do a spin like that. So, boom, then all the donuts come flying out, right? Yes, donut land. Okay, so now let's go back to our. Uh, our man here, 
And right when this, op like right here, he should start going back. So what we want to do is let's start with the jacket and we're going to copy this one. And then we're going to, I wonder if I can, yeah, I guess, I don't know why that wasn't working. Wow. wonder why I can't copy that. That's frustrating. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, just press another keyframe. And then, right, like here. So here he probably wants to dodge it. So we're going to um, press Control T. And this time he's going to go like, <laughs> he's going to like try to lean back and, and avoid it. So he's going to go there. So boom, boom, right? So it, the box opens. <laughs> and he goes back, but it needs to be a little bit. He needs to realize it a little bit later. He's like, "What's going on?" And then like that, but he needs to go back a little bit faster. Uh, yeah, and then he dodges it. Right? I'm gonna have the donuts come out a lot faster, actually. Okay, now we just need his head to follow him. He's gonna hit once there. And then we're going to have his head. His head's not going to be able to follow that. It's not going to follow well at all. <laughs> but it's going to be like, what is going on? There. Okay, now. Oh, hey, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> but basically. <laughs> so we just need a lot more. We need the donuts to come out faster. You know, we need more explosion in the animation. So let's say boom, and then he flies back. All right, so let's go back to our donuts. <laughs> and we're just going to speed up everybody if we can. Let's move the, the outside guys first. So all the orange donuts are going to come in. Like, I feel like we don't need the middle one anymore on these guys. So here, we're just going to have them all go, come out really quickly. So let's see if that feels any better. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of fun. Okay. But the blue donut and the orange donut are kind of too close to each other. So we just want to select, like, the orange donut. And then we can have take a little bit longer than the other guy. Well, let's just have him start later, too. So it goes like this. So he's just as fast. Boom! And all the donuts come flying out. And now I'm going to do my cheat. And I'm just going to take this whole donut folder. And I'm going to go Control-J. So I've just copied that one. And now... Let's see, yeah, so they all have the same animation. So basically, we can just offset the second one a little bit, and now we're going to have tons of donuts flying out, right? And this is looking really good. So we just go, the box opens, all the donuts come flying out, and you know what? You know what? You know what? Just because I want to, we're going to do it again, and maybe possibly even again after that. So we'll just uh, hit Control-J again, get the donuts one more time. And then we can go boom, and the donuts never end. And then we can even copy those three folders and do it again. And then they'll all, it'll go on forever. Oh, yeah. I love me some donuts. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do some extra things to the animation, add some color, add some lines behind. But I hope this tutorial was helpful in figuring out how to animate in Photoshop. I really hope it helped. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.